Well, good evening good and evening, welcome guys. to our living room slash dining room yep. here in Kyoto. Today we are doing another Japanese convenience store meal. Yeah. Where did you go? This time I went and picked all the stuff up at Family Mart. All this is, stuff up uh, at yeah. Family Mart. All this <laughs> stuff up at Family Mart. I'm still out of breath, guys. It's that hot and humid. There, it, it reached 39 degrees today. It did. And you were like, what? What is this? I, I, I like, I'm, I'm okay with hot weather, but once it starts getting above this 35, closer to 40, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so anyways Sam, got Sam breathed the heat. I stayed here tidying yeah. up, you know, air conditioned space. <laughs> he went out to Family Mart to pick up some food so we I can did. show you guys what kind of meal you can prepare from a Japanese convenience store. Yep. So this was all ready-made, you know, yeah. food you microwave. So I had these two dishes heated up. I, I decided this time, because there are a lot of Japanese food items, but I decided mm -hmm. this time to key in on the pastas. So I've got two pastas as the mains. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yours looks more like a carbonara. It kind of does. It, yeah, it's not Japanese like the creamiest on looking carbonara, yeah. but we have some bacon in there, spinach, corn. Corn tends to make a lot Corn tends to make an appearance in a lot of Japanese food items. It does. Yeah, whether it be mains or salads or even desserts sometimes, corn makes yes. an appearance. <laughs> and this one over here appears to be more of like maybe a seafood one because does this look like Ooh. little, like little um, Oh, is fish that egg? sea urchin? It could be. It could be sea urchin. It also, the, there appears to be seaweed. seaweed, the nori, little nori bits. And uh, there doesn't appear to be as much sauce. So, yeah. I'm yeah. not seeing any like shrimp or squid. No, no. So maybe it's the poor man's <laughs> yeah. seafood spaghetti. So what else do we have? We have um, two kinds of chips. Two what kinds of those? chips. No idea what these are. We and tried, that's why I got them. We tried translating them <laughs> using the, the app on my phone, Google Translate, like scanning the image. That one was hilarious. It, it mean, made no sense. It was like the taste of something of fine, seasoning. of seasonings and something else. Yeah, it was poetry. Yeah, it was poetry. These appear to be kettle chips. And what we can decipher from here, these appear to be plums, dried pickled plums, plums, pickled or dried plums or dates, and then we also have the the white. Uh, is it the sea bass? Or the white uh, fish. What is it called? White white bait. White bait. Except it looks pink. Yes. <laughs> oh, it does look a little bit pink. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have some chips. Yeah. We also have a little bit of sushi, some salmon sushi. Yes. We have these little dumplings, yeah, the and gyoza. I, and I believe this is like a date jelly or something. I've had something similar For in Korea dessert. once. Yeah, it could be dessert or a snack or we, I haven't, we haven't tried this in Japan, yeah. so. And Sam also got ice cream for dessert, but that's in the freezer. That has the yeah, red beans. Yeah, it would not last through the meal. That has the sweet a red, red bean ice cream. I, I believe, yeah. <gasps> oh, okay. And uh, we also have this little sandwich. It yeah. looks like a coke monsieur. A grilled ham and cheese. And gyoza. Speaking of beans, I feel like I need to tell this story. What's this we story? We went, actually, I went to the bakery. I was feeling like, yeah, baked goods, so good. So I snuck over there because we're trying to eat healthy. Didn't tell Sam about it. And I went in the morning and I picked up what I thought was a pan au chocolat. It looked <laughs> like chocolate. Oh, I remember this now. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Uh. And then I bite into it and I'm like, that is not chocolate. No. It was red bean paste. And it was so disappointing yeah. because I just wanted a French pastry. So later in the day, I go back to the same bakery and I'm like, I'm not gonna make this mistake again. So I'm like <laughs> looking at the pastries, I'm like inspecting them closely. And I see this one with like a dark filling and I'm like, okay, finally, one with chocolate. So I buy it and yeah. I walk out and I bite into it and again, it was beans. Yeah. And it was just so you know sad. No, I'll give you credit. I, I saw that. I saw it and it did look like it had chocolate inside. Yeah, but I you know, it Sam. You know what the good part of that story was? Is had it been chocolate, Audrey wouldn't have shared it with me. No, but, but I since there were red beans, I got to have some of it. So it was a good, a good news story for me. It's not that I don't like red bean paste because I've grown to like it. I used to hate it when I first had it in Korea, but it's yeah. grown on me. I can enjoy it. It's not but every it's day. Just, we've been having so much red bean paste. Like every time we you get a dessert, it. there's beans involved. You've hit your quota. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this pasta. Hmm. That's better than I was expecting. Same with mine. I quite like the noodles, to be honest. Ooh, that's got a bit of spice to it. 
Really? A little kick, yeah. And seaweed. I'm still trying to decide what this is. If this is, um, this is pretty good. Let's switch. Mm-hmm. Let's switch. I want to try yours. It's not the creamiest carbonara. Okay. I will say. You could use a thicker sauce. But for convenience store spaghetti. The worst thing you could do is compare this to like a freshly made Italian pasta. Because it would, it, it doesn't even come close. But for like convenience store food, to have pasta, this surprisingly tastes pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. Like the pasta. This tastes like so much more fresh than mm -hmm. if you were to, I don't know, like boil noodles or, or for instance, like those, those noodles that come in. Oh, the instant cup? Yeah, the instant cups or, or something along those lines. Tastes so much more fresh than that. I will say out of the two, I think mine is the better pasta. Mm -hmm. This one tastes like the sea. Like it just has a yeah. very fishy taste and which, smell. Which I like. You do? <laughs> but it's like, I wish it had, you know, mm. like squid or octopus or shrimp or fish or something fishy, not just like the taste. Mm. Um, and yeah, it has seaweed. But no. the sauce isn't very, very thick either. I didn't try the bacon or the corn in mine, so I'm curious. Mm. Something else I should point out is that this family mart was considerably smaller than the 7-Eleven I went to for our, to pick up our last ingredients. So oh, yeah. I didn't have as much selection. And it's funny because the convenience stores, it doesn't matter what brand it is. Sometimes you go into a 7-Eleven and it's really small. And then you go to a family mart and it's huge. It really just depends on the location. But yeah, those are, those are kind of the three big convenience stores that we've been noticing. I've also noticed Circle K as well. Mm, I haven't seen that one. This looks good. I'm excited about my pasta, mm -hmm. but I'm going to try some of this other stuff. Oh, I cracked this beer while you're telling that story. Here's a <laughs> Yebusu Premium. Ooh. I'll read this here for you. Rich and mellow premium beer brewed from 100% fine malt and select hops with Sapporo's traditional art. Cool. Wow. Another beer from Sapporo. And Seems to be the, one of the specialty areas for making beers yeah. in Japan. So of course, they have the Sapporo brand as well, which is one I like. So my drink is premium morning tea with like a peach. Peach flavored. Peach yeah, flavored. I, I, I decided to get something for you that but it's clear. never had before. It looks like water. <laughs> this will be interesting. It smells like peach. <sighs> it's peach flavored water. I wouldn't say it tastes like tea. You dare try my beer? Sure. Okay. Not You're not sure. a big beer drinker. No, not really. Not a big alcohol I've drinker in general, wine. but you do like wine a bit. And I do like gin. Well, you do like gin, of course. Edinburgh gin. Yeah. Elderflower flavored. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. All right, so I'm breaking the sandwich in half. Do I get half? It's cold. No, we probably I should have I feel like it up. this should have been toasted. I feel like this would taste a lot better if it was toasted. Mm. Basically, just a plain slice of ham, um, a slice of white cheddar, and yeah. orange cheddar. So we try the chips, okay. the chippies. Mystery flavor. Well, this one is fish and bubbly corn. I can tell you guys already that it comes in kettle chip form. Kettle chip form. Oh, my favorite. Oh, wow. Ooh, I like mine. Do you? I like these. These are very airy and puffy. It almost reminds me of rice crackers. Mm -hmm. With like an orange spice, cheese and spice. These have like the most subtle taste of this, of that sour plum. And then they're also salty like the fish. These are good. You want to try those? Plum and fish flavored chips, people. I know, I'm not, I'm not really selling it very well, am I? I don't think too many people would be like running over to... <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> these kind of have like a cheese. Yeah. Almost like a cheesy, Spicy like dehydrated cheese. ketchup. Oh, it's in English at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Rich cod roe flavor corn snack. Wow. I didn't think it tasted like fish. No. I thought cheese and spice. Whoa. This to me tastes like vinegar chips. No, no. I kind of do. I guess it's the pickled plum. Mm. It has a sourness to it, for sure. Mm. I still think my two favorite chip flavors of chips in Japan are seaweed and wasabi. You like the wasabi Okay, ones. wasabi I will agree on. 
Oh, so, oh my gosh. What should we do next? Sushi or dumplings? Mm, let's go for the gyoza. Gyoza? Let's go for gyoza. We'll bring that closer. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like we've tried almost <laughs> all the like ready to go meals they sell at convenience stores. We're getting, we're getting like, there. Yeah. We're getting there. To be honest, it's starting to get a little repetitive. Well, we, we've been eating, we've been eating it for, for a few months now, so yeah. a couple months. And also we, we haven't really had a good kitchen situation in any of the apartments we've rented. No. So it's been basically impossible to cook for ourselves. So we are getting to the point where I don't where feel we're our, our motivation hasn't been that high either. For cooking? Things. Yeah. yeah At least for just, me. I, I, maybe I'm speaking for myself here. I, I wouldn't mind cooking if we had the space, mm -hmm. but it's just the kitchens are so tiny that there's no place where you can set up to chop vegetables and we only have one. Yeah. What's it called? The stove top. Only one stove top. Heater thingy. <laughs> Heating element. Element. Element is the word. Oh man. Those are good. This, right. is a, this is a pork filled lunch. Did I microwave them long enough? No, I didn't even know you microwaved them. Oh. They're lukewarm. Oh <laughs> man. In fact, it says room temperature. I would say those are stuffed generously. I love gyoza. I but can't. I think I prefer the gyoza from Lawson's. Mm -hmm. To be honest. That's a huge bite. So yeah, convenience store. Convenience stores have been a huge part of the equation of our trip to Japan, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only did we grab meals, but there's, they tend to be strategically located in the sense that in the summer, you're walking along the street or somewhere, you're really, really hot. Maybe you have a, a water bottle with you, but it's been, it's been getting blasted in the sun. So you have like, it's not even room temperature. It's actually warm water mm -hmm. and it's not appealing. So you find one of these places, you go inside, you're blasted with the air conditioning right away. It feels so refreshing. And then you go to the back of the store, you crack open one of the, the, the refrigerators and you pick, out, you pick out a cold drink. And it's like the best tasting thing mm -hmm. you've ever had in your whole life because you're so thirsty. And point. while you're choosing that drink, you have the door open. Yes. So, so you get extra air conditioning. A wave of air can just hit you. It's like a... Do I want Pepsi? Do I want <laughs> beer? Let me ponder that. Yeah. So, I mean, convenience stores have been our friend here in Japan. Yeah. I have to say, like, traveling here in Japan in summer, we've really had to adjust our sightseeing schedule. Big time. Like, especially now that we're in the middle of summer. Yeah. Um, We've had to start going out, like, really early in the mornings yeah. or in the late afternoon once the sun is starting to go down because it's just not pleasant being out. No. It reminds me of Southeast Asia heat. We have highs scheduled between 37 and 39 and lows of 26 to 28. So you're like, even at night and early in the morning, you're already starting off at a pretty, at a baseline that's really yeah. high. By the time you get to the midday sun, it's just impossible to be outside. Mm -hmm. We're basically, we're either doing things in the morning or around 5 p.m. onwards. Yeah. Because like being out between, let's say 10 to, to three is it's just awful it's like a suicide mission i find <laughs> that we're also doing laundry a lot more often yeah just because there's like no re-wearing this t-shirt it's not nope. like oh i was out for a few hours it's not bad it's multiple like, no. showers too it needs to be sometimes washed. three showers a day yes yep. oh yeah three showers a day depending on how often we go out. Mm -hmm. Even going to do errands, we come back sometimes drenched because mm -hmm. it's so hot and then we have to climb up three flights of stairs. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get up, you're pretty sweaty. I feel like we should do another video later on, like sharing some travel tips for summer in Japan. How to survive. We will do that. <laughs> we will do that. We'll definitely talk about, we'll definitely make a video about the, the pros and cons of traveling to Japan in the summer and, and, and maybe in other seasons as well. Mm -hmm. The best weather, as in the spring and the fall, but apparently you get the insane crowds, mm -hmm. at, especially at famous attractions. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's always pros and cons to whenever you travel somewhere. And to be honest, some people would prefer this hot heat compared to the winter when it's like uh, really cold. Obviously, I, I definitely would prefer being here in winter. I, I actually like winter. I like being a little chilly and bubbling up a bit because I find that doesn't zap my energy. Whereas in the heat, it, it totally does. So I figured we may as well start on the sushi before it goes forgotten. Yeah. So I'll add some wasabi. You, you do the wasabi and I'll get the soy sauce. And finish. I'm actively trying not to forget that we also have dessert in the fridge. Yes, dessert we do. Fridge. Then we also have to open this too, which... Another dessert item. Oh, this actually has instructions on how to do Ooh. it. There's a little arrow. That looks like... It looks very jelly slimy. Jam. Looks like very slimy jelly. 
we haven't even finished the savory mm. stuff. There's sushi sitting here and already having dessert. Audrey, it's your lucky day. I believe it's red bean. No. Give it a sh give it a try. No. Just a nibble. More bean? I think so. Does I could it be ever wrong. End? It sure tastes like it to me. Try it. It doesn't have a very strong smell. No. It's the bean texture. Mm -hmm. That is the bean texture. You won't be having that, I suppose. That's just exclusively no, I've, mine. I've had enough, I think. Also, I have to say, a few months in, yeah. here in Japan, I'm starting to miss Western furniture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. My back is just killing me. I don't know if I just have like really bad posture, but like sitting on the floor to do work, like sitting on cushions, mm -hmm. I just have no back support and like it's starting to bother me. I feel like an old yeah. lady. The thing is we haven't just been having our meals here. There's sometimes where we're on our computers for mm -hmm. hours on end. You know what was really cool? When we did our Ryokan stay, we had like a low table, but we also had like these chairs. They were kind of like chairs without legs oh, where yeah. you could sit on yeah. a cushion and have a bit of back support. It made a huge difference. Those were really cool. Yeah, because you can kind of lean back and change your body mm -hmm. posturing a bit. Whereas I feel in this particular setup, you're kind of always leaning forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, my left leg is starting <laughs> to fall asleep a bit. <laughs> Stretch out the leg. Maybe I should go get the... Uh... The legs won't be on camera. We've like blocked yeah. it off so you can only see the table. By the way, this sushi is pretty good. Mm, yeah. But I have to say, I, I have enjoyed living in Japanese style apartments with tatami floors yeah. and I really liked it when we got to sleep on a futon mm -hmm. at the Ryokan mm -hmm. like that was some of the best sleep of my life mm -hmm. it was just like very firm and I had a really nice like fluffy pillow yeah. and the duvet was just amazing the Ryokan was awesome. That's yes. honestly one of my top experiences here in Japan. I think yeah. if, if you're going to splurge on one experience, one overnight experience, I would say make it a Ryokan stay. Mm -hmm. They don't tend to be cheap. I mean, especially if you tack on meals like we did, mm -hmm. where we had, that, we had an amazing dinner and then a really, actually an amazing breakfast too. Yeah, and but. access to the bath. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> like now knowing what a Ryokan experience is like, yeah. I wish we would had done it once more yeah and one of my regrets like thinking back on our travel itinerary for japan is i wish on the way from osaka to tokyo that we had stopped in hakone and done oh, a real yeah. cotton stay there because that would have just been that would have that would have been that would have been awesome yeah. yeah but like at the time we were still undecided we didn't know where we wanted to go after tokyo so we thought like oh maybe we'll do hakone then yeah. but then we ended up going to the central no to the japanese alps yeah instead which was actually wonderful. Like I'm glad we made it to that yeah. area. Yeah, I think though that we at this point we both realized that we we enjoyed more of the the rural travel than we did in the cities. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so I think if you're gonna come to Japan, um, I would schedule in some of that if mm -hmm. you think if you think that that that's something you would enjoy. Mm -hmm. Because um, yeah, it's just a completely different world. Yeah, I mean it's just so. I, I just find it so much more relaxing and just locals are. Or even more chill. It's nice being out in nature. Mm -hmm. It's just a kind of a reminder of uh, what I mean, not just in terms of travel, but what are your preferences in life? And I think that we we're starting to realize we enjoy some of these these slow smaller, slow travel. Living, yes. Small towns and villages. Yeah. So I go get the dessert. I think so because I'm starting to reach my limit, mm -hmm. and I don't want to forget about the ice cream. Okay. I'm gonna go fetch. Yeah, you can I keep shall people. entertain the people. I can barely walk. What can I entertain you with? I'm I'm walking behind the camera. You should have gone to walk in over. front of the camera. I should have. <laughs> should have. Yeah, I'm grabbing it. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying these mukbang food experiences. Like we put this off for so long, we were just so scared to like have the camera rolling <laughs> nonstop because we're used to editing ourselves, and it's like. Yeah. What if we say something embarrassing? But it's been really fun, and I feel like we there can be... Ooh. Oh, I need spoons. I have a spoon here. Oh, you do? I feel like we can be more ourselves and just chat with you guys, as opposed to like presenting a destination and like talking about things yeah, to do, it, it, blah, it, blah, blah, blah. It is a really fun format. More personable. Uh, I think it's something... <laughs> Hopefully, it's so hopefully you've enjoyed our personalities, our real <laughs> personalities, and it's our not like... Off. Go back to the old stuff. Oh, this looks like it's got some green tea as well. Look at that. All the different colors. 
Is that green wow. stuff ice cream? Could be ice cream. There's lots of, of beans. Beans with whipped cream. Mmm. It tastes like yeah. Uh, it's not quite. It's not ice cream. It's something in between ice cream and whipped cream. <laughs> it's my A best mousse? way of describing. It. Yeah, kind of moussey. It the mousse. says frozen matcha float. Okay. But yeah. does, isn't a float like Coca-Cola with, with ice cream? What is a float here? It does have that matcha, mm -hmm. the green flavor, yeah. And then the beans. Oh, I love those beans. I know you don't like them, Andre, but I'm, just, I'm gonna miss them. It's not that I don't like it. I've just had enough beans no. for a while. We don't have anything in Canada that has that, that I can take off off the top of my head. It's not ice it's cream. It's like a frozen cream, yeah. but not quite ice cream. Yeah, that's how I describe it too. A little bit frothy, and then you've got these small red beans on top. It is quite refreshing. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm enjoying the fact that it's frozen. It does help cool you off. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we've got our work cut out for us, so we're going to continue eating. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, that is that is the taste test, though. That is our, not Lawson's, Family Mart. Family Mart. Family Mart dinner right here. I'm yeah. actually going to go and microwave my pasta again. Yeah, it's starting to get cold. <laughs> we have AC blowing on us. Yeah. And the spaghetti's cold. Spaghetti's getting cold already. So yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Now you have a better idea of the kind of stuff you can find at convenience stores for your own meal when you visit Japan. Yeah, and we'll have a Lawson's mm -hmm. one coming. Yes. yes. We'll, uh, we'll finish off the trifecta. We've done 7-Eleven, Family Mart, Lawson's coming up. So we'll see you guys soon with more videos from Japan. Ta-ta! Ta -ta.